What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're going to be making crab cakes on the Blackstone. Let's do it. So let's talk about our ingredients. Left side, we have panko breadcrumbs. These are awesome. If you've never tried them before, they're Japanese style. They are very crunchy. They stick very well and they work great. Far right, we have fresh parsley. Uh, we have two tablespoons chopped. And then in the center, the main event, we have lump crab. I can tell you right now, uh, shop around because <laughs> I've seen it as high as $48 a pound. I got this lump at BJ's for twenty dollars a pound uh which seems like a lot it is but it's much better than 48 and uh this is what we're working with tonight you want to make sure you get the lump that's the best it's got the bigger chunks and that's kind of what you're looking for when you're making crab cakes i also want to take a quick second to give a shout out to chef taylor who gave me this awesome recipe thanks bro first step we're going to take our crabs and dump them into a decent sized bowl here. They'll come out. Just got to work with them. <laughs> Just loosen them up and then turn them upside down and they all dump out. So you want to check here to make sure there's no, uh, no shells, um, bits of shells. I didn't see any. These were already kind of taken out already, but I have read doing my research that you can find some sometimes. So you want to look through and make sure, and you don't want to mix them up too much here. You don't want to mess with it too much. You want to leave the, the chunks, large chunks, uh, as they are. That's what you're paying for when you get the lump. So you can see you got some pretty good sized chunks in there. And that's step number one. Then we're going to add the parsley. And then we're gonna add the panko breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna mix this together very gently, nothing crazy, nothing aggressive, just kind of like get them in there so the breadcrumbs are kind of mixed in in the crab. And there's a method to this madness. You can see, people are, I'm sure, are thinking, why are you doing this? There's no moisture in there. Well, you wanna get the breadcrumbs mixed in with the crab before you put the wet sauce because there's not much wet sauce so there you go that's what it should look like and then now we're going to put our wet sauce together so the ingredients worcestershire sauce um, hot sauce old bay seasoning and i'll put all the ingredients uh, in, in the measurements below you got dijon mustard you have one egg that's um, beaten and then you have uh, some mayonnaise and salt and pepper so again the reason why um, you want to mix up the dry stuff first is to get the breadcrumbs incorporated into the crab meat as well as the parsley and then once that's in there you're just gonna put a small amount of the wet sauce and that's what's gonna kind of like get everything together. Less is more with crabs, uh, with with uh, with crabs. So you want to, you know, less is more. So you don't want too much moisture. You don't want to be soggy. You want the crabs to pretty much take over the flavor. So here we go. Mayonnaise in, egg in, Dijon mustard. And then we're going to add some Old Bay seasoning. This is a classic go-to for crab cakes for sure. Had a hard time getting it out of here. <laughs> but he went about eh, half a teaspoon. And then some, uh, some hot sauce of your choice. Again, uh, probably another half a teaspoon here. Just to give a little kick. And then some Worcestershire sauce. We want to do about two teaspoons. 
I think I got two and a half here. That's okay. And then salt and pepper to taste. However you like it. That's the way you do it. Check out my new salt and pepper shaker. Electric with the light. I love it. And that's it. You want to mix this up. This you want to mix up thoroughly. So once this is mixed up, this is what you're going to combine with the crab meat and the breadcrumbs and the parsley. And this is all going to come together nicely. But you'll see this, this wet mix gets lost real quick with all that crab and those breadcrumbs. That's why you want to mix in the breadcrumbs with the crab meat first. So that's it, mixed up real nice. You want any lumps, looks beautiful. That's what you're looking for, right there. So here we go. We're gonna dump in our wet mix, nice and gently over the top. Get as much as you can out of there. It's real easy to make twice as much of this stuff, and the and you can stick these things together like like burgers. But it's that's not what you're looking for because you don't want that to overpower the flavor of the crab. That's why you don't want that much. You want just enough. And here you do not want to be aggressive. You want to fold it in nice and gently. You don't want to go crazy here. You basically just want to turn it a couple times, flip it around, mix it together. You see, I'm not I'm not doing any kind of fast moves with this uh, the spoon here. It's just real gentle, putting them together, and then that's it. Now you form your patties, um, just like a hamburger. You're gonna take it here. You're gonna pat it together nicely. It's not gonna stick together like a hamburger, so you have to be real careful putting it together. Um, you can see it's kind of breaking up at this point, so that's fine. That's 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 how you want it. If it's too moist and it's sticking together like a like a meatball or like a or like a burger, then you got too much moisture. So here we go. Do the second one. Put it together. These are I made five in total, I believe. So. You know, figure a fifth of a pound of meat, but you plus you have the breadcrumbs and everything else, so they're probably like quarter pound burgers or crab cakes in this case. So that's it. There's our five crab cakes. We're gonna cover these and we're gonna put them in the fridge for at least a half an hour. And this is going to do two things. It's gonna bring the flavors together and it's gonna get um, the patties nice and congealed together so they don't fall apart as easily. And then finally here, we're gonna make our lemon Dijon sauce. And this is great for, uh, to put on top of the crab cakes once they're done, as well as a salad dressing as well. You've got olive oil, Dijon mustard, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Real simple. So here we're going to add a half a cup of olive oil. And I'm just eyeballing it here. And then we have uh, about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, if I can get it out. There you go. Looks like about a tablespoon right there. Then we have uh, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And then salt and pepper to taste. 
and then you want to mix it up real well. Now, what I did not show you on the video here is that I did end up adding uh, some some uh, cornstarch as well as a little bit of mayonnaise just to thicken it up a little bit. It wasn't as thick as I like it, uh, but that's all I did differently than what you saw. So here's kind of the final product before the cornstarch and the mayonnaise. Tasted great. I just wasn't crazy about the consistency. So here we go. Grill's on. We got it up to temp. You want to go for kind of like a medium low. Um, we're going to add some oil here. And here we're going to add uh, enough oil to cover the top here of the grate. It looks like a lot. It's not. Uh, think about uh, deep frying some food. You're not really deep frying it here. This is more like a, just a cover. And the, the Blackstone is designed so the oil kind of goes out to the side. And then we're adding butter here, which, you know, is, is for the flavor. The oil is more just so the butter doesn't burn. So here we go, patties down. You can see after a half an hour in the fridge, man, they are stuck together. They look great. Now, <laughs> they will come apart eventually. Once you start getting that heat on there, they will definitely come apart some. So um, that's why you want to put them in there for at least a half an hour to get them nice and uh, congealed as well as the... Uh, the flavors coming together with all those spices. You're going to push down a little bit on these, not too hard, just enough to kind of get a little sear on the bottom. And that's it. We're going to let them cook for about three, four minutes, and then we're going to flip them. So here we go. We're about three minutes in. You can see the smoke coming off. And you can see it coming apart a little bit, so you want to put your hand on the top when you flip it. And go ahead and man, look at that color. Oh, that looks perfect. You want that's the color you want right there. A nice little crispy, not too dark, but not too light, kind of right in the middle there. Caramelization. Oh, that looks great. So we're gonna let these go for another literally three minutes at this point. And they should be ready to go. And here is a little close-up of the crab cakes. Oh man, look at those things. They look awesome. That's exactly what you want them to look like. They don't need to be beautiful like a, you know, like a burger patty. That's kind of what you're looking for right there. And that's it. Time to come off. And the first one's a little bit messy, but that's okay. No problem, as long as we can keep it together. Yeah, kinda. But you can see the rest of them come off nice and easily. Much better. Uh, and that's that's beautiful. That's what you're looking for right there. That's it. They're coming off, and it's time to give them a taste. Here we go. some crab cakes summer is almost over <laughs> and I've been wanting to make crab cakes this summer and we finally got around to it so these things came out beautiful looking we're gonna take our lemon Dijon sauce and pour it on oh that looks beautiful and we're gonna give it a bite. Oh, nice and crispy on the outsides. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Wow, <laughs> that is good. This lump crab meat is awesome. It's not cheap, but it's definitely worth it. Don't do imitation. It doesn't taste like this. <laughs> this tastes great. So, got a little salad on the side. We can use the same lemon Dijon sauce for that as well. Uh, everybody, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.